All right, guys, um, I'm gonna make new videos for lab to cover the blood vessels. The first ones were the first videos I ever made. They're a little rough, so we'll do new ones. And I'm gonna split them up by area. So the first video now will go through circulation from the heart, up through the head, and back. Okay, so arteries and veins from the heart, up through the brain, and back. Um, we've got more arteries than veins that we cover in this area, um, but we'll get through them all. So I'm gonna start right here with the actual heart model because you guys should be able to identify these first few branches off of the aorta, even from this model. And you'll see that we end up going up the neck um, in a couple cases. So this big red vessel is the aorta. Remember the first part is the ascending aorta. It ascends or goes up. This curve is the aortic arch or arch of aorta. And then just right here, we start the descending aorta. That's gonna go down behind the heart it punctures the diaphragm and it comes all the way down to about here. So the descending aorta is really big, it's really long. This part that starts right here is the descending thoracic aorta because that's in the thoracic cavity. If I show you this model, you can see this large vessel that's going down back here, the heart would sit here. This is the descending thoracic aorta. Goes through the diaphragm and then this vessel, it happens to have this little piece of green tape on it. Um, this vessel right here is the descending abdominal aorta that's in the abdomen. When we look at the aortic arch, we'll see that it's got three big branches that come off of it. Right, so this is the aortic arch, and it's got coming from the right towards the left, one, two, three branches. The first branch here on the right side, this is called the brachiocephalic trunk. There is just one brachiocephalic artery. We'll see two brachiocephalic veins, but arteries, there's one. It's on the right side, the first branch off the aorta, the brachiocephalic trunk. Next, we have the left common carotid artery. We'll see that that's gonna go all the way up the left side of the neck. And then this one here, the last one is the left subclavian artery. It goes underneath the clavicle. We'll look at that when we progress down the arm. So this um, common carotid artery, we said goes right up the neck. This first one, which is the brachiocephalic trunk, it's going to come towards the right and then split. And it actually splits into the right common carotid and the right subclavian. And so it gives way to these two vessels right here. If we look at this model right here, this is showing us the aorta. So this is showing us the aorta, okay, the aortic arch, and it's got one, two, three branches. One, two, three branches. The first branch, you can barely see it because it passes underneath but just right there, you can see the brachiocephalic trunk. That splits. And the one that goes up the right side of the neck is the right common carotid. The one that goes underneath the right clavicle is the right subclavian. And that goes until right here, okay, at the first rib. These are showing you the ribs. It's the first rib. That's the subclavian on the right side. Okay, so the brachiocephalic, right common carotid, right subclavian. On the left side, the next branch is going right up the left side of the neck as the left common carotid, and then it goes right into the left subclavian over here. So let's follow those common carotids up the neck and into the brain. Um, on this, you can see the common carotids coming up the side of either neck, or other side of the neck. So this is the left common carotid artery, on this side, the red one is the right common carotid artery. If I turn it, you can just see how that common carotid splits, or V's, right? How it splits right up here. It splits and the common carotid goes into an external carotid, goes out, and an internal carotid that goes in. You can see those most clearly on this model. So you see this right here? So this is coming up the side of the neck, right? The bottom part is showing you the common carotid artery. 
This is the left side. So this down here is the left common carotid artery. It splits, comes out and in. The part that comes out is the external carotid artery. The part that goes in is the internal carotid artery. So left side, left external carotid artery, left internal carotid artery. When you look at this external carotid artery, it's got three key branches that we'll look at. And naming them is pretty simple, um, if you remember the names of the bones and the regions. So this, this branch that's coming back here going to the occipital region is the occipital artery. So the left occipital artery, there's also one on the right. This one that's coming back up over the temporal bone is the temporal artery. So left temporal artery. There's also one on the right. There's a vessel, it's kind of broken, but it goes like this. You can see where it's cut. It goes like this and goes to the face. That's the facial artery. So left facial. So common carotid, external carotid, internal carotid. The external carotid becomes the occipital, temporal, and facial. Now the internal carotid artery, you can see it right here, it's actually gonna go up and into the brain. It goes through the carotid canal, and if I flip this, it actually enters into the brain right here, and then the other one enters right there. So you could identify the internal carotid arteries uh, out here or into the brain. So when we look in at the brain, there are numerous different vessels that you guys should be able to identify. I'm trying to find the easiest view for this, sorry. Um, right off the bat, this is the, um, you're looking in the skull, this is the foramen magnum. So that's where the spinal cord comes and connects to the brain stem. And if you look down here at either side of the foramen magnum, each of these vessels that are coming in and up those are vertebral arteries. They go through the foramen magnum, and if I turn this, you can see they come out of the foramen magnum right here, and they go through each of the cervical vertebrae. So these vessels that are actually in here, that are going through the transverse foramen on each of the cervical vertebrae, those are vertebral arteries. You've got one in the left and one in the right, and then they go up into the foramen magnum. So you could identify them here, or if we actually look inside the skull, you could identify the vertebral arteries here and here. Those vertebral arteries come together and this one single vessel that's going up that they form is called the basilar artery. Don't get that confused with basilic. Basilic we'll see is a vein in the arm. Basilar is this artery at the base of the brain. Then we have um, a few key kind of larger arteries that go out to feed the brain itself. Um, I'm gonna remove this sticker because it's hard to see. So these ones that are going to the back of the brain, these are called posterior cerebral arteries. It's like when you look at the head, right? It's, it's like this. So this is the back, this is the front, right? So this is the back. So these are the posterior cerebral arteries going to the brain. Right here, we said that these big ones coming up through the holes and into the brain were the internal carotid arteries. The internal carotids come up to about right here and then they curve out. And there's a big vessel that comes here and it goes all the way out to the middle portions of the brain. Same thing here, right? So what this is pointing to is this part that's coming out. That's the middle cerebral artery. Then see these thin ones that go towards the front? There's one there and there's one on this side. So the right and left, those are anterior cerebral arteries. So anterior cerebral, middle cerebral, posterior cerebral. We also have a couple communicating arteries those are just like interconnecting arteries. So in the back, right here and here, these tiny little threads that you see interconnecting the vessels, those are posterior communicating arteries. And then see this itty bitty little interconnector there in the front? 
just the tiny little one that goes back and forth. That's the anterior communicating artery. This circle here is called the circle of Willis. Um, that's important because that surrounds the pituitary gland and that's how all of the pituitary hormones um, end up getting into the bloodstream. We also see some of those vessels here on this model. So if we look at this model here, um, you can see the common carotid that's going up the neck on either side. It's really hard to kind of identify the split, like where it becomes external and internal. So I would not ask you that. But you can see parts of the um, occipital artery. You can see parts, or you can see the temporal artery. And you can clearly see the facial artery. So any of those would be okay from this model. Now, when we talk about the veins, um, we don't cover very many veins from the head and neck at all. Um, the only one that we cover in here is this vein that's going up the side of either neck um, or either side of the neck, and that is the internal jugular vein. We also have an external jugular vein, but it's really superficial. Um, so on these deeper dissections, you don't see it. So this that you see on either side of the neck this is showing you the internal jugular vein. So the right and the left, the blue ones, are the internal jugular veins. Um, those come right off of these brachiocephalic veins, which I'll show you in a second on the heart model. Here you can also see that. So the heart sits here, right? And coming off the top of the heart, we have the superior vena cava. So this is the superior vena cava and it splits. This and this are the brachiocephalic veins. So the right brachiocephalic vein and the left brachiocephalic vein. The brachiocephalic split and under the clavicle you have the subclavian vein, just like the arteries. Okay, right here is the subclavian artery and subclavian vein. And then going up the side of either neck or other side of the neck, you have the internal jugular vein. So the right internal jugular vein, and then on this side, the blue one is the left internal jugular vein. So superior vena cava, brachiocephalic vein, subclavian vein, internal jugular vein. That's it for the head and neck. Um, we'll go from the heart and down the arms in the next video.